They called me on, on March 30th, which was on a Friday. After eight years of waiting, last year Jerry Truba finally got the news. Doctors had a match for a kidney donor. So they told me that uh, to come in that they had a healthy uh, kidney from a 15-year-old person. That 15-year-old was Alex Kana. As the Kana family suffered the loss of a son, they made the selfless decision to donate Alex's organs. But when an autopsy revealed that Alex died from a rare cancer rather than bacterial meningitis as originally believed, doctors scrambled to get a hold of the organ recipients. That's when Jerry got a very different kind of call. Jerry, I'm sorry, but you know, you have to come in uh, right away. It's an emergency. They, 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 he told me that they have found out that the, that the kidney had lymphoma. And after that, you know, it was like, it was like a shock. I, 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 I didn't want to believe it. The cancerous kidney was removed, but now without a working kidney, Jerry comes here to a clinic in Manhattan three times a week to receive dialysis. He lost all kidney function after struggling with high blood pressure and was in desperate need of a kidney. But having a healthy kidney is only part of his worries. Now he faces the threat of cancer. I think about this every day. You know what's going to happen to me. I mean, I want to I want to be healthy, you know, because I have a family. I think about my family. I have a son. I, I, I really want to live. But living now for him means living with constant medical treatment. He is now denoted as a cancer patient and therefore is ineligible at the moment to receive another organ. So it's back on a life of dialysis with no kidney function. Regardless of everything that's happened to him, Jerry only has words of gratitude for the Kana family. To them, uh, I'm very grateful, especially to Ms. Coini, that, you know, that because of her, I'm alive. Jerry Truba and his attorney have filed a lawsuit against the NYU Medical Center and the New York Organ Donor Network. They hope this will push hospitals across the country to change their procedures and verify a patient's history before allowing them to donate any organs. For now, Jerry's main goal is to meet the Kena family and say thank you in person. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.